Flensburger Pilsner. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I picked up this bottle of Flensburger Pilsner from a, a little German bar around the corner from me. Um, I've tried it before, I really like it. It's from the Flensburger Brewery, which is based in Schleswig Holstein, which is a northern part of Germany that borders Denmark. And um, they do some cracking beers, and this Pilsner is one of their best. Um, it's Got on the bottle, uh, Herbverzig, Herbverzig, and Frisch, which means bitter hearted and fresh. That's the literal, so it's mostly bitter and fresh or dry and fresh. Uh, it's 4.8%, it's a 330 ml bottle. Let's open it up and let's see what is going on inside. It's a very nice uh, flip top cap on the bottle. Here it is, porcelain cap with the the ship on the front and there is the label here is the back of the label pause that if you want to read some of it so yeah they make a big thing about the ships because uh, Schleswig, Hol Schleswig Holstein is a port city a maritime city and here it is opening what's on the nose oh, do you know what you open up a German beer and immediately it just smells good. With a lot of these lagers and you know the macro brew stuff, you open it up and it, it immediately smells, you know, sulfury and not good. This immediately smells good. And yeah, do you know what? I can smell the sars hops from here. It's really nice, and it's a pretty good representation. It's a northern German interpretation of uh, Pilsner style. I'm just putting it into a half pint glass here. Let's get it into the glass and see what's going on. And this has come out of the fridge, it's chilled. I didn't put it, I didn't have it cold because I really want to get these flavours. Here it's in the, in, the, in the glass. Lovely straw flavour. Not much carbonation, don't know if you can see that. But it's very limited carbonation, very small bubbles as well, which is good. Finger and a half head, white head. What's on the, um, what's on the nose? Yeah, more of the same. Lemon citrus. Sars hops, I'm sure they must be using sars hops in there because you can smell sars hops straight away. They just have that sort of earthy, sort of slightly bitter type aroma, which is, you know, predominant in pilsners. You know, sars are predominant in pilsners. But let's get this down the hatch and see what's going on. Really good. That's really good. Really nice mouthfeel. Not masses of carbonation, which I like. Lemon citrus, followed by bitter earthy hops. And the back end is just huge lager and biscuit malt, really good. This is really nice. This is a, a really good German Pilsner. So easy drinking as well. Oh, and then biscuit malts on the end, really nice. This is the difference between good beer and the shit that you get from the big brewers. This is beer done right. Now I know Pils Pilsner originates in the Czech Republic <clears throat> and you have to call yourself um, an imitator of the style if you're not from Pilsen, but this is a really good representation of a Pilsner. 
and it's 4.8 percent so it's it's really easy drinking and it goes down great brewed to the Ryan Heights the 1516 purity law which you know even better um, I like everything about this beer I like the taste I like the bowl I like I like the, the ethics of the brewery they're an independent brewery Flensburger and uh, the biggest in northern Germany in, well certainly in Schleswig Holstein anyway which is a state in in Germany but I definitely definitely like this super really good they do a Flensburger gold which is the lager and that's even better well it's a lager but it's I think it's easy, more easily drinkable than this but you know this is really drinkable so what would I give it <clears throat> well um, it wasn't cheap it was this was nearly three pound for a bowl um, but that's the only drawback everything else is good and you get these at mo in most German themed bars it seems to be really popular because it's a good pilsner so yeah I'd give that a 9 out of 10 solid 9 out of 10 and of course I'd recommend it if you can get hold of it um, I'd recommend this and the, and the Flensburger Gold as well I should get some of that um, I've drank that quite a few times as well and that is lovely that's really good stuff but as for this yeah superb all day long all day long I would recommend this as I say if you can get hold of it they do online as well you can get it in Beers of Europe they do it um, as I say most German theme bars uh, was it the Beer Keller I mean they're a chain of sort of German theme bars I mean they're pretty tacky but they do get some good beer in there they do all the Schneiderweiss stuff um, the uh, Paulina stuff as well and they do this this is nestled in among all the others so yeah Flensburger Pilsner definitely recommended try and get hold of some if you can and remember beer is working class champagne <laughs>